YouTubers, I'm going to start doing giveaway boxes on my channel so I can build my subscriber uh, uh, list and get uh, more viewership. So, at 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away a box. Uh, this box is going to be filled with items I get from the subscription boxes. One or more items from each box is going to go into the giveaway box. At 100 subscribers, one of you will get sent this uh, mystery box filled with goodies. So, subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends to subscribe to my channel. And here's your video. Hey YouTubers, it's Big Boppa back. Um, I am here to give a demonstration or a review of this forge tape that we got in the battle box. Also wearing the 511 hat that I also got in the same box, in case you didn't recognize it. Figured I'd stick it on for this video. Um. Yeah, so I haven't actually used this yet, so this will be first time for both of us. Um, and I wanted to use it, I kept trying to think of, well, what can I use this on that uh, would be relative to um, myself and a lot of people out there. So, finally dawned on me, fishing rod. So I have a fishing rod, just so you know I'm not sacrificing a fishing rod here. It already broke off the tip on this. But I'm going to make another break here. Let's see, right here in the middle. There we go. Alright, so, <laughs> you know, a lot of us have extra fishing poles. But this is something that, you know, I'm sure many of you have experienced. Maybe not right here in the middle usually closer to the tip, like this one was already done, but um, out fishing, land a big fish, or, you know, land a <laughs> tree in the bottom of the thing, do a good jerk on the pole, and uh, voila, you have a broken pole. So, we're going to try and fix this pole here. So, let's uh, open up this thing. Um, and I'll just review, it's pretty common sense actually for the most part, but it comes with the instructions, basically heat it up to 140 degrees by, can use, it says use hot water, hair dryer, heat gun, microwave, open flame, solar, obviously out in the field, might be open flame with a lighter or something, but I'm going to use my heat gun and uh, which will be the easiest here at home probably and uh, we will see if we can fix this so first I'm going to pull off it's obviously skinny pole so I'm just going to pull off we'll say a little over a foot of it, I'll say. And, uh, grab a knife here. And, uh, slice it off. Stick the rest of it back in the, uh, tin. I probably should have gotten some gloves for this part, um, but we'll see how this works. 140 degrees is going to be pretty, pretty warm. I will be right back with gloves. Alright, I'm back with a glove. So, I'm thinking the best way to do this is we're going to heat up the end, end here, get it started on the bottom section and then heat up the rest of it and try and wrap it around. Just my opinion. I, th I think that might be the best way to go instead of heating it all up at once. So, so you'll be able to see it turn clear. Get a little warmer. Then we are going 
to get it started here. Just like that. And then I'm going to get the other piece ready. ready here and uh, so it's ready I think it may actually globe may have been the wrong way to go it's hard to hold stuff so let's heat up a little bit more of this chase down down a little bit and we'll get then we'll Just enough to get this other piece started. So stick the thing up there and then wrap, wrap it around. Get it started. All right. So now it is attached with a single layer somewhat uh, obviously hastily done but warm up a little bit more and we'll then wrap it back down around itself give it a couple layers of uh, freedom here or we can heat this back up and apply some pressure maybe with the, the glove after we do this. But, uh, alright, so then we'll go back up one more time. Top of it again. Oops. And uh, obviously, this is all. I don't know how long it takes to cool this, but uh, we got this last little bit here. Continue it up. Definitely sticky, but uh, again, not the uh, so now we have it. Obviously, right now it's pretty flexible. Then heat it up. Uh, heat it all up one more time and kind of press it together here. It's, So, let's let that cool down and see what happens. Alright, YouTube, it's only been a few minutes, but uh, it seems like it's pretty as solid as it's going to get. Now, I don't want to feel like it's not as solid as I would have I liked anyway. Um, Obviously, first time using it, um, it's, I definitely wouldn't trust it to haul in a fish at this point. I'm going to put one more, one more layer on this and I will be right back and we'll see what it's like then with one more layer. All right, guys, I am back. Um, another layer on and cooled off. 
And we've got mixed uh, mixed feelings on this. So although I can swing this fishing roll or fishing pole around, <laughs> fishing roll roll tape is what I'm thinking. Uh, fishing pole around, and it you know doesn't break off or anything. I just feel like if you take a look, like it is bending. Like, you know, obviously this plastic doesn't have the same qualities as the pole. So it's bending right where it was broke. So, obviously that's probably not good. And I'm pretty sure if I keep bending this, which I will for you, you can see it's going to break. So... I mean, it might not break, actually. It looks like it's just going to stretch like plastic, but, or bend like plastic. Um, so, the tape might be good for some things. One thing I might recommend, like, obviously, every time you use something, you, you know, you might figure out a better way of, of using it. My recommendation, actually, like, just a temporary goodbye. Like, obviously, you're not going to keep a pole like this. But if you needed something to use, what I would probably do, actually, is instead of connecting the pieces of the pole that way, I would overlap the pieces of the pole and then wrap the plastic around that just to get you by until you, you know for the day if you didn't want to leave and stop fishing or whatever. Definitely this, the way this is, like joining two pieces that broke end to end um, is not going to work. And I'm assuming it's going to be similar on anything else you might repair. So either having another piece that goes in between them, you know, to add support, or taking the pole itself and joining it this way rather than trying to connect it back where it broke might work better than this. Obviously we didn't do that so we don't know for sure but I guarantee it's probably going to work better than that because where it was end to end then you'd have the pole also supporting each other. So anyway that is my review of and demonstration of this tape here, this forge tape, and um, make sure you like and subscribe to my videos, and I'll give you some more reviews. And obviously, the unboxings are seem to be the popular things. And you know, I've been doing some airsoft guns and stuff like that. Make sure you check those out. But anyway, make sure you subscribe, like, share. I'm going to do giveaway box at 100 subscribers. I'm going to do, do giveaway boxes after that. Um, so make sure you subscribe and like. And I will see you on the next video. Big Bapa out.